Wow, I just dumped black eyeshadow all over my bed. <laughs> awesome. Oh, hello there. I don't need to say it. You don't need to say it. I fucking get it. I haven't posted in two weeks. It might be longer now. I don't even know. I haven't posted in a while, and if you guys want to know why, next Saturday I will be announcing why I have been so absent from both channels. So if you're not already subscribed to my main channel, either subscribe or just tune in next Saturday because that's when I'm going to announce, you know, why I've been gone. Ooh, I thought I was gonna burp, but I'm pretty sure I just threw up. Anyway, in my opinion, it's pretty good reason to be gone, all right? I needed some time. But yeah, it's 2017, and I just fucking want to do better. So yeah, anyway, I wore this makeup look in my last video on my main channel, which was a story time about what? What was it? Ah, yes, it was the Psycho Friend. And a lot of you guys asked me to do a makeup tutorial on this. Now, I've already done foundation, contour, blush, highlight, all that stuff. You guys have seen me do that stuff on this channel, so I didn't include that in this video nor did I include eyebrows, but I didn't include the eye look. I included my lips and yeah, that's I think the most important things of this look. But if you guys want like an in-depth just foundation tutorial, let me know and I will do it. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Also, my skin's really bad. Don't be alarmed. Okay, bye. All right, so as you can see, my skin is, I don't, you know, I don't really want to talk about it. Also, my eyelash extensions look like they got in a fight with each other. My skin has completely gone insane. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. P.S. I really do realize that my eyelash extensions are horrendous at this point in time. When they need to be refilled, shit gets really crazy. I'm like really scared. I'm actually scared my eyelash extensions are going to kill me at night, okay? They're fucking crazy. But I'm getting them refilled tomorrow. So you know what? We're going to deal with it because this is all we have. Okay, so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a Josie Moran 100% pure argan oil. I don't actually know what this does, but I've been trying it lately. I've tried to mix it in with my foundation. I find that that makes my foundation look cakey, which is weird. I only put one drop, but I actually really like it when I put it under my makeup. Normally, I would never do that because I typically have very oily skin, but for some reason, my skin has started being dry and it just decided it wants to be dry now, so I have to use the oil around my nose, in between my eyes, and on my chin, or else my makeup will cling to the dry patches. So I'm going to start off with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. This has lasted me a really long time, although I do need to get another bottle. Actually, I don't know if I do need another bottle. These things are so confusing. You can't see inside. That really bothers me. How do I know how much I fucking have? I don't really understand why anyone would have multiple eyeshadow primers. I was just thinking about that. What is the purpose? If you find one that works for you, just use that one. Oh my god, my eyelash extensions. <laughs> Don't worry, at the end of this look, I'm gonna add like individual eyelashes, so I'll even it out and it'll look fine, but right now we are not in business. Anyway, I'm gonna start priming my face. I'm gonna use the Benefit Professional. It's sample size because for some reason I've accumulated like 85 samples of Professional. And I'm also gonna use the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, which you know what? I have a bone to pick with this shit. I used to never use it because like I said, I had oily skin, but all of a sudden dry skin, so now I use it. And it's it's great, but for how expensive this is, could, oh, of course now it works. The top breaks. Oh, well see, it did it now. See, I have to like lock it back up and sometimes I'm squirting for like 85 times and it just stays down. And that happened as soon as I bought it. So you know what? I don't think I'm gonna repurchase that. Fuck you, Hourglass, unless you wanna send me something. Then I take that back. I like to use a professional on top or under that one. It doesn't really matter. Some people might think this is pointless. It probably is. I don't know. I do it for my own brain. I like Benefit Professional around my nose. I just feel like it smooths everything out and looks uniformed and nice. Ooh! Oh, I just dug my fucking thumb in eyeshadow. All right, whatever. If you see this thumb, it's not dirt under my thumb. It's eyeshadow. I gotta fix that. I'm gonna be using the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. A lot of people have been asking me, oh, you see how dirty it is? I just got this. How is that even possible? A lot of people were actually asking me to use this palette in a tutorial, so here you go. I'm trying to do videos where, like, I only use one palette, but I actually find that kind of difficult because I never just use one palette. But if you guys really, really, really want to see me do a Modern Renaissance Palette tutorial, Tutorial, then let me know and I'll make something work. I'll come up with something. Anyway, I'm gonna use tempura all over my lid and my brow bone and everything to kind of set the eyeshadow primer. And I use like a paddle brush for this. This is a flower cosmetics brush. I zoomed you in and I turned the brightness down a little bit so you can get a more realistic picture of what I'm doing. Oh, oh. Oh shit. So I'm gonna grab the one and only color that I'm using from the Tartlet in Bloom palette and that is Sweetheart. It's down here. I'm gonna use this as a transition shade and I'm gonna be using it on this Zoeva Luxe 
crease brush. Tap off the excess because this shit is powdery as a motherfucker. And honestly, what I always do with transition colors is I just swirl them in the corner with a fluffy brush and then I just bring the color over. You don't want to bring it too high up on the brow bone, but again, this is just a transition shade. So you don't have to be like crazy about this shit. I tend to pick up more color and just kind of build that up so that when I put a darker color, it's not like a drastic difference. And this also makes it way, way easier to blend any dark color. I don't know if you could tell the difference, but yeah, it defines your eyes and it also just helps everything look way more uniform. I'm gonna grab my Makeup Forever, I don't know, what is this? It's a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna run over the top edges of that color really lightly and quickly, just to blend a little bit more. Doesn't really make a difference, whatever. It's all in my head. And then I'm going to grab this brush. Where is this from? This is a NYX Cosmetics brush, but the number rubbed off, sorry. And I'm gonna dip into the color Red Ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette. With every dark color, I always tap it off on the back of my hand. It's better to go on with a little bit of product than a lot, you don't wanna get too crazy. But I'm just gonna swirl that lightly into my what is this called crease yeah I guess I don't like to necessarily put a lot of color in here it's not really my thing if it's your thing cool go for it but I like to concentrate the color on the outer corner and then with whatever's left kind of bring it in. Then I grab the brush that I used for my transition color and this is really your call here. I usually pick up a little bit more transition color so that I can blend this out easily. If you want to just go in with a regular brush, do it. I don't know, just feel it out. But I have a little bit more of that transition shade and I'm just going to run along the top of this color. Sometimes I go over the whole thing and if you blend away too much, you can always add more, but this is what I like to do. Right here, you can either add more wherever you want it. I usually don't. I just blend upwards and then I add my lid color and then I look at how I like the lid color. I see if I want to be more dramatic that night. If I don't, like, you just kind of gauge whatever you feel like doing. So this next color that I'm going to be using is kind of a random one, but I feel like you can get this in a lot of different palettes or a lot of different lines. Uh, most of you probably already have this color. And it is from Pure Cosmetics. I actually got this in my, what is that called? Not a birch. Uh, not a birch box. What is it that I get every month? Boxy charm. <laughs> yeah, I actually got this in a boxy charm. Ooh, and it's kind of like a wannabe naked palette, but it's really good. And I use this color, which is Mojave. Mojave. It's a like reddish toned color, but it's got a little bit of shimmer to it, and I thought it was perfect for this look. So if you have something similar to that, go ahead and use it. If you don't, just use whatever you have. And I'm going to put this on my lid with my finger. Did you even see any of that? Fuck! I'll show you on this one just in case you didn't catch it on that one. This adds a much more red element to the eye, as you can see. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that red ogre color because I'm feeling a little bit more, feeling a little bit more dramatic. And like I said, this is where I kind of just like play around with it, see where I want to place the color and all that stuff. So I'm putting a little bit more of that and I'm gonna blend that out. And then I'm gonna go in with my blending brush and kind of blend all of that out. This is really simple, it's just a few colors. You don't need anything fancy. It's not like 35 layers of dark colors. It's just one dark color, one lid color, one transition color. That's it. Oh, and a brow bone color. Whatever, who's counting? I'm gonna grab some of that tempura color again with the same brush that I used in the beginning and I'm going to re-accentuate my brow bone. I always like to do this. I feel like it just makes looks more uniform. I don't know if that's all in my head, but that's how I feel. And then I kind of just go over one more time and I buff it out. Anyway, let's move on to the glitter. All right, so I hope I don't make a huge giant fucking mess here, but I probably will. I'm going to be using the NYX Glitter Primer with the NYX Glitter... Glitter. I don't really know the name. It just says GLI02. So I hope that helps. I put it on with this tiny little brush and I just put it on the back of my hand like I would eyelash glue or anything like that. And it's tacky, but it's also liquidy enough that it's really, really easy to work with. So you can place it where you want to and whatever. I'm only going to be applying this on my middle of the lid. So I put a good amount on the middle. I just kind of tap it on. And then I just lightly, with whatever's left on the brush, work that around that area and then I grab some of the glitter on a different brush and just start placing it. You just want to go lightly and you want to go with a brush. That way you can kind of place it however you want and I don't want too much. I just want enough to like catch the light. Well, this is a little more than just catching the light. Let's be real. I'm going to add more of that lid color and kind of use that with a brush to blend anything I want to blend. So I can kind of like run that all over and take it off in certain areas so that it can be a more more 
you know, seamless thing. All of these little glitters on your face will come off when you do your foundation, so don't worry about that. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. So what I'm actually going to go and do is I'm going to go add eyelashes so that this can look better. <laughs> it doesn't look like horrible, but these eyelash extensions are just kind of wonky, so I'm going to add my eyelashes, and I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna do my foundation, my concealer, everything, my contour, all that shit, because I've already done that on camera. But anyway, I'm gonna come back so that we can do the lower lash line together, and then that'll be it. Then we'll be done. Okay. See you soon. Well, hello. Took quite a big break, ate some fried rice, but now I'm back. I tried to fix my eyelashes with uh, the individual lashes, and from far away, I think it looks decent, but from close up, yeah, they're all fucked up. But anyway, I'm gonna do my lip color, which, yes, I realize my lips are all fucking, like, eaten alive, and that's because I've been really nervous and stressed out lately, and I've been chewing the shit out of my lips like a fucking cannibal. So we're gonna ignore that and I'm gonna put on the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. Honestly, I regret making my Kylie Jenner video, but then again, it was a first impressions video because after the fact, although the lip gloss is really pretty, uh, they did not wear well at all. Like those lipsticks crumble like a fucking feta cheese topping. If you guys want me to do a Kylie Jenner update video on like why I just don't like it now, uh, I could do that. But anyway, these are awesome. They wear really well, they don't crumble off, they kind wear off which is my favorite because I just cannot stand when liquid lipsticks crumble. I just can't. It's 2017. Science is at an all-time like high, right? And we can't perfect liquid lipstick not crumbling. I don't get it. This is in the color Queen Bee. This is my all-time favorite liquid lipstick from this line and also the only one I own. It is just such a pretty color. Everyone always asks me what color I'm wearing when I'm wearing this, so there you go. Queen Bee. Let's start with the bottom lash line. I'm gonna get a little pencil pointed brush like this. I'm pretty sure this is from some sort of like Coastal Scents or BH Cosmetics palette, something along those lines. And I'm gonna use the same color Sweetheart that we used in the beginning to do the same thing on the top but for the bottom, if that makes any fucking sense. Oh, let me zoom you in. Essentially, I want to create a little bit of a blended look and I also want to connect the top and the bottom somewhat. Then I'm gonna get a little flat brush, any any brush honestly, and I'm gonna get the red ogre color from the Anastasia palette. Just tap that into the brush and I'm gonna kind of just lightly work that in and like subtly blend it out. Here's where you can do whatever you want. You can put on a nude eyeliner, you can put on a black eyeliner, you could do whatever you want, but I am just not an eyeliner person. I don't know if it's because I wear contacts. I don't know. I don't really like eyeliner, so I'm not gonna put on any eyeliner. Uh, every time you guys see me in my videos, never wearing eyeliner. And I'm gonna dip into this color right here with my pinky. It's called Primavera, and that's gonna be my subtle inner corner highlight, because I don't want like a ton of shine or to bring too much attention, because we already have glitter, but I want to just put something there, you know? I'm saying. And then I'm going to use my Benefit Roller Lash, little sample size, and this is my all-time favorite mascara for my under, what is this called? Lower lash line. It just like separates and doesn't clump them together. I just, I love it. So that is it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this simple, it was pretty simple, uh, makeup tutorial with glitter and burgundy and I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna call this video yet. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel because I put on new videos every Monday and Thursday and I will see you on Monday. Bye!